Hey everyone, welcome to the very first video for Cruiseville Adventures, where we're going to talk about all kinds of stuff outdoors. Um, just wanted very quickly, uh, my name's Chad, to give you a very quick background of kind of where we're at and what you'll be watching on this channel um, as far as the plans are right now. First, we are at Clark's Hill Lake, that's the lake behind me back here, and we live right on the lake over in South Carolina, we're near Augusta. Uh, Georgia and so if you can see behind me all the way on the other side of the lake that's the Georgia side we're on the South Carolina side so that's kind of our um, area the CSRA Central Savannah River area around Augusta but uh, we also recently a few years back purchased 260 acres of land right down the road from here and it's mostly pines and it's all for um, timber but on that land we're going to be uh, playing on it we camp on it we hike on it um, do all kind of little different things over there so we're gonna be videoing some different stuff that we're trying out on the land. We also have, um, in the past year now, got about, I think, 75 hours on it. We've got a, a Kubota tractor, an MX series. So we'll be showing you some of that. And some things during the summer, especially out here at the lake, um, going skiing and trying to figure out how to wakeboard, um, things like that. So we'll see a little bit of everything. Gardening, um, statues, you might can see one in the corner over here different things that interest us and so that's kind of a little bit about the channel and then i'll take you on a little tour around the backyard here because that's been the project for the last uh two or th two and a half weeks now we were going to put up a border around the outside of our deck which i'm sitting on and we were looking at the little cheap metal borders that you can kind of bend and and put them wherever you want to when we got to lowe's however um, me and my wife were looking and we saw the little bricks and we thought, oh, man, it'd be cool to have those and do a little retaining wall and have a, a nice flower bed. So that's what we decided to do, which is a lot more work. And digging took uh, quite a bit of muscle because we've got rocks up under here, huge rocks right here at the edge of the water, as well as some tree roots, which I'm actually going to finish up today. So I'm going to try to take you through a little bit of what I did. And then also, if anybody has any questions, I basically watch YouTube videos, ask them questions, um, things like that, to try to figure out what to do. But I think so far it's turned out really well. And we gotta get one more big uh, dump truck load full of soil to um, amend the bed with. And basically it's making it like a raised bed so we can put whatever we want in there and have a good start. But um, anyways, I'll walk you around the area and give you some detail on that and then We'll just uh, do a few things here. I've got to load up the last, hopefully, the last set of bricks that we just got last night from Lowe's. I uh, had to swap some out that um, were a little broken because we've got three pallet fulls of bricks so far, plus about 100 extra. So got a lot about the last 40 or so to get back here with the Can-Am, which you can see behind me, I think. And we're gonna bring them around, set up the last rows, and then um, pretty much be done besides putting down some uh, weed barrier and put down the rest of the soil. So anyways, I'll walk you around and let you see what I'm talking about. So right here, you're looking at our back deck. Now, the previous deck when we bought this place was uh, 30 years old. And so we looked to have it repaired. And when they looked at it, they said, we just need a new deck. So we got a new deck. Um, before that, however, back here, I did a really nice little flower bed. We have some bird feeders right here. Um, we could look down here originally and see all the flowers and the birds got a nice little trellis and I really liked it and then we had septic issues so they came in here and they uh, had to redo all the drain lines destroyed everything here and all the way around that direction just dug up this whole area because we don't have a whole lot of space between us and the water so they fit the drain lines in we also had a very old septic tank like 30 years old so they had to redo that so when they demolished our deck they put in a new septic system and then they built the new deck on top of that. So the new septic system's right up under these steps. You can get to it up under the deck pretty easily. So this is the new addition. All of this was just dirt. I'll pop up some pictures of what it um, looked like in before I started doing this little project here. And this is our new retaining wall. And it goes around all the way this direction. Got to watch where I'm stepping while I'm videoing this because this backyard's where our dogs poop and I have stepped in so much dog poop it's not even funny. But you can see quite a difference in elevation. This is all level and now we're up about I think about seven rows or so something like that here. This is the part I started digging a trench right in here at the lowest part and then worked my way that direction as well as around there. 
once I dug the trench, you'll see that first row of blocks here, they're pretty high out of the ground just because it's the lowest part, but they, they really get down in there. I did that, then I put down a weed barrier once everything was level, pretty much level in the trench, put down a weed barrier, and then I put some of the uh, sand, concrete kind of mix, and then use that to level that first row. And that first row, it probably took about almost a week to do this entire first row. We thought this was about 40 feet. I think it ended up being about 80 feet. We miscalculated a little bit on that, just eyeballing it. So, use the sand to put that first row down, wet it to make it kind of lock in place. We've got a little bit of rocks you'll see here in the front. Those rocks actually go all the way up to right up under this top row on the back. So when water comes down, it'll actually drain down through those rocks. So it's not just pushing against the wall. And all the way up here, you can see it starts getting lower again because we're going uphill at this point. And I haven't finished all this area quite as much as the other. As you can see, this is the last part of the reason roots um i really hate roots i would much rather dig rocks out of the ground than uh than dig these roots out of the ground i actually bought a sawzall and used that that really got rid of some of the roots most of the roots are coming from this massive sweet gum tree right here which uh wouldn't mind getting rid of but i've actually got some lights hanging on it right now so it's not going anywhere but right here is the very end i ran out of blocks yesterday for the last little part here, I did cheat just a little bit here because there's so many roots. I just don't want to go down too deep and just continue cutting roots. So right in here, I put quite a bit of the uh, paving. Let's see what this is called. The Earth Essentials uh, Paver Base. Put that down here, kept everything level. And you can see what we did. You can't see it down there, but you can see it up here because we haven't finished yet. You go down with the row here, the flat. And then when it gets high enough, you can jump up to the next row so you don't keep digging deeper and deeper in the ground. Jump up to the next row, and then right here, jumped up again. This is where I cheated just a little bit, used quite a bit of paver sand, and I don't really care that these aren't, you know, down under the ground like the rest of it is, just because these are the last four or five. This is the area that if we ever move anything, this is where it would be needing to move. If we ever remodel, this back little area here will probably be um, destroyed anyway, so we'd have to do this. The rest of the retaining wall, that direction, it should be good to go for quite a long time um, but these roots I wasn't really sad about getting them up and the reason for that is right here in this brick if you were to walk over there you would actually see some of the bricks coming up off the ground and the reason for that is just these roots are so big going up under there so um, the other tree that's got roots and I like it because a little bit of shade we have on our deck is right here and so it's got some roots coming out I tried not to mess with too many of those but anyways, so we're redoing all this. We're gonna put down this uh, weed barrier that you see right up under the bricks all the way through here. Kind of start over because there's a lot of weeds just all mixed in that um, from when we bought the place and, and it was just an old, old, old flower bed. And I said, it's been destroyed several times between a septic system being dug, draining, drain fields, as well as this new deck that uh, we love, but it really destroyed everything again. So we're gonna go ahead and take the can-am there's a can-am defender six seater because we got six folks in the family me and my wife as well as four kids so that was um, the obvious choice because it can fit everybody in it um, we'll take this over to the land hopefully later on today if we have time and just ride around because we've had actually this is our second day of no rain it's supposed to rain again tomorrow so anyways with all that being said a beautiful day uh, at the lake we're finally seeing the sun it is a lovely 30 degrees out here which for this area is pretty cold but uh, once I start hauling these bricks bricks onto the Can-Am I will not be cold so anyway we'll uh, do that and then we'll get going
we got these to the back and I'll show you why I had to pick out some from Lowe's and take some back. They come with this ridge right here. I think you can see that in the camera. And this ridge is great because when you stack them on top of each other, and you put them on, well, that's upside down. You put that one here. And you sit that on top, it slides forward and then it catches itself. So that's how you do all the rows except for your bottom row. So the bottom row, you actually break this off. And I've got one right here that's got a little bit of chip in it anyway. So I'm gonna break that off and show you how to do that. Take one of these. I got, um, just for uh, breaking this, you can get these at Lowe's for just a few dollars. I forget the exact name of them, I have to look it up. But you can do this by hand. You just hit against it like this with your hand. That pops off very easily. I'll see if you can see that here. This isn't the best way to do it. And voila, you're done. You want that flat, it makes it a lot easier to level it um, when you're doing the bottom row. So it's just flat. But this is the last one that I need to do the very corner. And then after that, we'll start stacking all these other ones on the top row and kind of get them about the same height as the part right here in front of us. So uh, anyway, that's what we're doing next. All right, I'm gonna try to show you how I did this, uh, just this last one or two here, and then we'll have to cut some. I don't have anything right now to cut them with. Um, I don't know if the Sawzall can do that with one of the blades if I clamp it down. But um, anyways, eventually I'll have to get a saw and kind of finish out this little edge here to make it as flush as we want it. But um, take your sand. All these right here are level with each other. You wanna level them. I have a short one for each individual block. I have a long level as well, but you can do several. But you want them level back and forth this way, up and down as well. And you also want it as flush as possible right here so that these aren't too um, uneven. So you wanna make sure that part's level with the block before it. So this is level. For this end, this one's already been a little wet in the bag. I'm not gonna pour in too much. I'm not sure how much we're actually gonna need. And then you got a stomper. This is very important. And now you can just adjust as needed. I also recommend one of these for your knees. Um, feels a lot better and also saves your pants. I've ruined several pairs of pants doing this over the last several weeks because I was not using one of these. Got them nasty. Um, but anyways, I'm one of those people who I wear my clothes till they fall apart and then finally go get some when I'm down to like my last pair. So I need to make a trip into town to uh, get some pants. But anyways, so you put it down and at first you can just eyeball it. Like I can see right now, that's way higher on this side here. And I'm probably not gonna need hardly any of this. I can use this, just move it over a little bit. And down here, it's still pretty good and packed, and this was wet anyway, so uh, that helped. Like I said, we're not gonna need much because we're at the highest elevation. You can see, just eyeballing, that's pretty close to being flush there. Once again, because I'm at the very end, I was really, really type A about the stuff down here. All this is still level, and that's pretty close right there. You just put your level on here, and we'll see what we need to do. We need to go down this end or up on this end, one or the other. It's pretty level this way already, and so we can pound that in, or I've got just a little bit of wiggle room on this side. Let's pack that in a little bit. All right. Pack the whole thing down. This is a rubber mallet. If you don't hit it with a regular one, it'll break it, but this rubber one works perfect. I've been out here banging on this stuff so many times. So now we'll do a smaller adjustments. Getting very close here. Yeah, that is very close, but not quite.
once you get it level, that's pretty pretty much level. I have been doing this, just kind of right in the edges, just give it a little bit more stability. It really, they don't move much, but uh, just kind of throw this over there. And this last little section, I'm probably gonna raise it up, actually put one right there eventually. But for now, that's gonna be it. And I'm gonna start going that way. I said this part will have to be cut a little bit, so we'll go from there. But uh, I'm gonna start right here, go that way, start stacking stuff. Stacking is very easy. I just start in between these two, put it here, slide it forward. I'll do one of those real quick. Got that little ridge right here. Halfway mark right here. You slide it forward until it catches. And that's all there is to it. This one should be level because everything else is level. So that's level both ways. There you go. Now we're just going to do that. Um, down this way, jump down to the next row, go down, maybe to about the curve, and uh, and then kind of figure out how high I want this little part because it's it's going to be different than the rest. Everything else is flush all the way down, as you can see, but right in here, right there in that curve, I'm probably going to come this way a little bit, get everything high as I want it, and then we'll be good to go, hopefully. This is probably as high as we're gonna have it on this part because it's already um, at the highest point. I don't really want it much higher than that. Don't need it higher than that. And that's just more blocks. So go down here and kind of level everything up. That's pretty much it. Um, said I'm gonna put one more probably there for, on that second row going across, and then uh, after that I'll kind of figure out how close I actually want it to be right there. Doesn't have to be perfect on this end, and that's kind of how you do it. You just keep stacking as you go. This is a little different. I said the last around this corner, everything's flush all the way around that top row, except right here we're gonna step it down and get it about the same height here. Step it down there, step it down, and after that it goes all the way around and everything's 
um, one row going across that part. So I got a few more bricks in the back of the truck. I'm gonna get those, just kind of come back here and double check all this. Might tweak, tweak it just a little bit. That's the cool thing about these bricks. They are very, very easy to change around a little bit as you're doing the rows. So uh, anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. If you have any specific questions, since I wasn't able to video this whole process, and I can kind of tell you, I'm gonna go back. The neighbor has let me use some of his extra pile of rock Put those rocks down in the front and uh, on the back as well so water can drain down and not be pushing right up against it and then we'll start laying down some weed preventative um, cloth and then order another thing of the good topsoil and dump it down in here it won't take as much as it did in the front uh, or over on that corner but anyway if you have any questions all right folks well that is hopefully our first video if everything gets uploaded like it's supposed to so if you enjoyed the video feel free to hit the like button and subscribe and we're going to try to be posting videos maybe about um at least twice a week or so um dealing with all kind of different topics so uh, whatever kind of uh, we're doing out here and uh hopefully we'll get to the land today make a few more uh footage for a future video but there's a retaining wall i'm pretty happy with how it turned out so far and of course you got the lake back there, except that it is too bright to see right now. There it goes, there's the lake. And um, beautiful day out. I am not cold anymore. That 30 degrees feels great after lifting a bunch of blocks. And if I finish this, I never wanna see one of these red blocks again, but it does look really, really good so far. And I cannot wait to start planting stuff in there and kind of design that. That's the fun part is when you got to figure out what you wanna put in there and make it look all nice. Anyway, talk to y'all later and I will see you soon. Thanks from Cruiseville Adventures.